The dinner line wraps around the building and down the street at St. Vincent de Paul's Family Center. But when the doors open tonight, they'll receive more than a meal. Ladies and gentlemen, we still have families eating. We still have shoes. We have enough for everybody. That's Brenda Combs, a doctoral student at Grand Canyon University. This 48-year-old dynamo travels the country sharing her story and inspiring others. Dr. Lisa Aro. I think she'll just keep going like a snowball getting bigger. But life hasn't always been this good. Fifteen years ago, Brenda was a homeless drug addict. She recently gave me a tour of her former life on the streets. This is the 7th Avenue Bridge, and this is where I used to live. While homeless, Brenda was beaten, hit by a car, shoved from a moving vehicle, shot, stabbed, and raped several times. I remember many a nights getting a piece of cardboard so you weren't laying right on the pavement. Brenda takes me to what she calls the zone. We step inside the dining hall as the homeless take their place in yet another line. Many times for me it was, I hope they don't run out of food. Brenda scans the room looking for her friend Glenn, newly released from prison, but he's not there. As we drive through a neighborhood in downtown Phoenix, Brenda points to a small peninsula of grass. This is what they call the island, also known as Jurassic Park. This whole neighborhood was just a mixture of families and drug houses and like wild dogs chasing that kind of bike. <laughs> we pull into an alley and see what looks like a couch, a broken a door, house. and the remains of a porcelain sink. This alley was not safe. I was raped in this alley. Battered and barefoot, her only shoes stolen from her feet. She walked from this alley one mile to a nearby park. And by the time I got to this corner, I was just screaming. My feet were burned, they were blistered. Those stolen shoes became the catalyst for change in Brenda's life. As we head back, Brenda takes one more drive around the zone. And that's when we find Glenn. Oh my God, there he is. Brenda persuades Glenn to take a ride to the men's halfway house, miles away from the zone. The tour is over and we're back at St. Vincent de Paul, where our story began. Since 1999, Brenda's organization, Finding My Shoes, has given away more than 10,000 pairs of shoes. Blaise Bova, Director of Operations at St. Vincent, says Brenda is an inspiration. She hasn't forgotten her past and she's really made it a big part of her life now. And it's Brenda's past that propels her forward. If I can go from being a homeless drug addict to being the ambassador of inspiration and achievement, then you too have what it takes to make your goals and dreams become a reality. In Phoenix, I'm Gardenia Coleman for The Blaze, 1330 AM.